So, uh, I never used to have a comedy club at a Medan Hotel. The purpose of the comedy club was to help a young comedian get a car. So you come and host the and perform for the, uh, the comedy club for one whole month. Yes, if you invite some other of your friends, but for the four or five Sundays of the particular month, you are the host. And you're supposed to deliver like a, a minimum of an hour. Yes, because you show the last for three hours. So you could need to deliver like three uh, one hour straight. Then maybe invite one or two friends. Then if I do about day around, good, your three hour go tick. And I really get very high class uh, audience that time. Very small place. So I was the first comedian. That was how I got my first uh, car, my golf. When I do about give it that year. No, my month tier. You know, I kill. My month, I kill. The five five Sundays. Ta, 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 ta. You get one guy that call Igwe. Igwe. Ah, bro, Sali, you remember Igwe now? <laughs> and they crack joke one day. So for the joke, sometimes I don't make my jokes they real. So of course I was in an office one day. Now Igwe is for oh, yeah. Igwe is fond of interrupting comedians. For oh, yeah, be the office. I said, I'm not for Okoko. The guy said, no wonder. I said, well, I can't give one proverb for Bible. You know that proverb when you say, Jesus, uh, when you say, uh, the wise man build the house out of solid ground. When wind come, when storm come, the house stand. But the foolish man build the house out of sand. Small breeze like this, everywhere blow, a house scatter. So I've been going to look Lagos way. When I saw say where they say this via. <laughs> I don't talk and finish. He goes back. He goes say by the time he's here again, he goes arrest me. <laughs> now, I live on my back for me that day. <laughs> but, bro, she don't try, Sha. Many times, she don't always beat me that he helped me. <laughs> but, they said, you they don't beat me tired before you come. <laughs> Anyway, back to my story. So at the comedy club, one of our friends can to perform. The guy don't do like 10 minutes, no laugh. And apart from Igwe, there are two people when they always interrupt comedians for the comedy club. Only two people, the rest, classy people, oh yeah, men, telecommunication man, that is matured man, and they come to the comedy club. You know when you say I live about you know the kind of class, the kind of people who they come to the comedy club. No, these two guys, the Igwe and Ono Yibo, why two? I don't know where the white man come from. I don't know, German, they are fond of interrupting comedians. So, this Oyibo, do they, every year quiet to this my particular comedian, they perform, they perform, do like 10 minutes, no laugh. And the boomer just bust laugh. <laughs> Everywhere quiet. Even the comedy are quiet. They call the look of the Ibu. takes two. Ibu shouts. Oh, my friend. You've been talking for 10 minutes. Nobody's laughing. Where? Well, it's funny to me. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. 